Hi right, fellas, Mick here again. Um, everyone seems to be doing, well in America anyway, everyone seems to be doing another video on the EDC, what you carry. I know I've done a couple of videos on it, so I thought I'd just retouch on my preferred EDC uh, for urban and bush. I mean, I can use this EDC for bush or urban environments. And again, it's the, um, the 511 um, push pack. I can't remember, I keep forgetting the name anyway. 511 bag there which you know, straps around your shoulder and uh, I've had this for a while now and uh, I use this nearly every day um, it's always with me in the car when I'm doing sales sales calls and whatnot it, it's with me when I'm out on the weekend taking the boy to soccer or wherever we go it's in the car with me and you know if it's a carnival or soccer match or wherever we're going it's always with me um, I prefer to carry my water bottle externally on this bag, which clips off of that carabiner there. Um, I just like to save the room that's in here. Um, yeah, I usually carry my iPad with me, which fits nice and snug in here and closes very, 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 very well. Um, so I prefer to carry my water bottle like that. And this is a stainless steel water bottle. It's just wrapped into a nice plastic pouch here. Um, and I take this, yeah, it's, it's a soccer every weekend and my boy and I share the water, you know, in between half time and whatever. Uh, it's enough for just a, a day, well, not a day, but half a day, you know, a couple of hours in soccer. Um, I don't need to carry anything too big. So that's my little water bottle, which I'll carry like that. Um, and again, if I'm out in the bush, um, obviously I'll carry more water, so I might have that strapped to me here and that like that or I can just take this and strap it on there and within this system I have my my cup and my uh, my stove and a bit of tinder in there so I can cook with this system here boil water just cook a nice cup of soup or something so bush that comes with me urban that comes with me um, I'll try and make this video quick. First of all, the weight of this, it's not very heavy at all, but what I'll do is I'll grab my scales. That's probably the best way to test this. Cool, I've lost weight. I'm, I'm 86 kilo. That's alright. Lost some weight. 86 kilo now with the bag. Eighty-nine kilo, so three kilos. So this bag basically weighs three kilo, and um, <clears throat> so that's not too heavy. That's pretty good, and that's that's pretty good way of testing how heavy your gear is. You know, weigh yourself first, put the gear on, weigh yourself again, and obviously work out the um, work out the difference. So three kilo of weight in there, obviously minus the water. Probably add another kilo, or a bit less, with the water. Okay, so four kilos so with water. Um, so I'll go through this bag really quickly because I want this to be a short video. So in the back section here, okay, and you've probably seen this all before. I've got a compass, I've got a couple of hankies, and I've got leather gloves, and I've got a leather, a piece of leather belt just for stropping my knives, you know. It's really a day pack. Um, and if I just need to touch up my blades, I just need to grip this, get this leather and, and just give it a bit of a strop. Um, so that's all that's in here. Sits in there nice and flat, doesn't protrude in my back. Top zipper there. I've got medical tape, you know, medical grade tape. I've got a couple of, uh, you know, bandage wraps. Dead oil, which I use all the time for my kids. They always fall them down or something, so... Spray a bit of dental on them, um, eye wash, uh, some quickies because I get friggin' heartburn, tweezers just for splinters or those friggin' ticks, more eye wash with some duct tape on it, chapstick, and that's it. So that's in the top pocket there. It's just a, a quick go to, and uh, I guess the item as I, I use most is this dental, 
it really really comes in handy very quickly, especially for the soccer field, you know. The mums freak out, oh you know, he's got a scrape, he's got a scrape. So anyway, that's that. In uh, this pocket here, I've got some uh, cable ties, I've got a spare pair of reading glasses, I've got some uh, stingos for any bites and stuff like that, um, especially for Australia. You know, when it's summertime at the beach, um, jellyfish, blue bottles, whatever, it just eases the sting a bit. Ice obviously is the best thing to work, but uh, yeah, let's just you know, carry that. Some thread. Some uh, seasoning, spork, some more thread, a whistle, an allen key, yeah, it's just there. Some Ziploc bags, that's basically it. Okay. Let's put this all back while I'm going through it. Alright, all fits in there. Side compartment here. I've got my fire kit. Just quickly, I've got uh, my Tinder's fire steel, and that's it. I rely on the fire steel to make a fire. I've got my bushman for the mozzies, flies, and ticks. I've got another little satchel of Tinder cotton wool balls soaked in vaso, and I've got a nice roll of um, husky tape in there. Okay, so that's my little fire, bug repellent, duct tape little side there. Okay. On the other side, snake bite wrap, or again, if you hurt your arm, sling it. Yeah, wrap comes in handy. My med kit, band aids, alcohol swabs. Um, water purification tablets, uh, there's a few things in there. And a poncho. That's it, that's all that's in there. And the idea of this bag is I want to keep it lightweight. I did have this thing fully packed with a heavy duty poncho and a tarp and all that kind of stuff and it just was too heavy. It was ridiculous for an urban bag and you know it was even ridiculous for a, an out, outdoors bag because it was just too heavy. Um, okay, so now I come to the main compartment, okay, which is there. Um, I've recently just added this, uh, just some snack bars, just, you know, four muesli bars basically, just some yogurt flavoured ones and a nut bar and uh, kind of like an oats bar there. Um, you never know. It's more for the kids, you know, they're always getting hungry, so at least they can snack on something and, you know, for some reason if I have to walk and we don't have any food, at least there's some energy there and some snacks. So, food bag there, um, lighting, I love this torch, so cheap, 30 bucks, but it is really, really bright. Um, three settings, you've got high, low, and that, the strobe. Um, Paracord bracelet, which I should be wearing now, but I'm not. And nice hank of paracord there. Okay, so that's the main compartment there. And then we've got this mesh side here, so carry me uh, my Swiss Army knife. knife. Um, my 511 tactical min pin knife. Uh, a Stanley black texter similar to a sharpie, uh, another pen, wet ones, tissues, that's more for just the kids and myself who got a runny nose or a bleeding nose, dead old hand sanitizer, yeah, hygiene and fire starting there, uh, mini fishing kit, I won't open it up because everything will pop out but I've got probably about five squidgies in here, hook sinkers, line, uh, doubles up as a uh, char cloth container. I've got char, I've got cotton cloth in there, so I carry that with me. Um, that's basically it. So that's that section there. And then on these side little flaps here, I've got the good old TNT courier satchel. 
Uh, got a packet of cup of soup, so more food there. And in the other final compartment, I've got my sewing kit, needle and thread, buttons. <coughs> also do have some business cards in there um, and stuff like that. So it's nice, nice and flat. It doesn't weigh nothing. My emergency blanket, so that could be shelter. Um, some sandpaper, 1,200 grit, just to touch up my knives if I have to. Uh, a nice big chunk of uh, <coughs> aluminium foil. And my waterproof notebook. Yeah, make some notes. And again, I've got a pencil and a pen. So I've got, I've got, I've got basically four means of, of writing things down. And that's it, fellas. So um, that's all that's in my... Urban and Bush EDC bag, um, and uh, yeah, I'll take this everywhere, and that's it. So, I do have another bag that's dedicated to the bush. Um, I've actually revamped that and took out a lot of stuff that was just weighing me down. It is really just now just a day hike bag where I'm not carrying much at all, it's more made for carrying my ammo and. And things like that. So I'll, I'll do a review on that. I have dumped a lot of stuff out of there. And uh, and yeah, cheers.